Hey guys, this is Kadisha Najmi here and welcome back to my channel. This channel is going to be a lot about affordable home decor, DIYs and room makeovers. In this video, I'm going to be creating my very own framed wall canvas art piece. So let's get right into it. This grid wall from Restoration Hardware really inspired me to create something like that for my own living room. To make it very affordable, I did not purchase actual picture frames because the total was coming out to be a lot. So I decided to frame the canvases that you can purchase from your art and craft store to make them look like picture frames. And then I used my paintbrushes and paint to create a beautiful abstract painting. Okay, these are the tools that we're going to need to prep the canvas. First of all, we're obviously going to need four canvas frames. Now, I purchased these when Michaels was having a sale, so I only paid $7 for each canvas so look out for sales like that and the next thing we have on this list is join compound for this project it is not necessary but if you would like to achieve a, a textured more expensive look then you're gonna want to buy that for yourself and then a putty knife is going to be used to apply the join compound you can actually purchase a plastic putty knife and that could run you from like you know a dollar to two dollars it's obviously going to not apply the same way but it's going to do the job uh, moving on so here i am applying the join compound with my putty knife and really there is no exact or the right way to do this i'm just pretty much uh, picking some product applying it and then just reapplying on top of it to create uh, some kind of texture and then i'm doing it all over this canvas and then pretty much on all four of my canvases again this step is not necessary but i wanted to create something that looked very expensive so i did this step uh, once you have completed all four please leave them to dry off because joint compound is really wet it's going to possibly take overnight to dry off once it's dry off it is going to look something similar to this okay now it's time to add the frame to my canvas so uh, to create a frame i purchase um, what's called a pine lattice molding and this is available at lowe's home depot you just have to go to the the molding and trim section after i cut them i spray painted them black with the uh, matte black spray paint okay guys after i spray painted the lattice molding I went ahead and laid my canvas down and put the frame on it. Um, this is the shorter side and this is the longer side. So on the longer side, I put the 24.5 cut and on the shorter side, I put the 20 cut, 20 inch cut. The reason why I did that is I'm going to show you a little bit close up look here is um, ignore that. <laughs> I guess I didn't paint this, but this is the 20 inch and this is the 24 inch and the 24.5 inch overlaps to this and so that is how a frame is created if i was to use the 24 inches which is the size of this side then there would be a little square left over which obviously we don't want we want this to look like a frame so the thickness of this molding is 0.25 and so 0.25 overlaps here and then on the other side, 0.25 overlaps over here. Um, there is a little mini gap. The reason why that is is because of this uh, canvas fabric and there's nothing obviously you can do about it. But from far away, you can't even see it. Like, look. So I did the same thing on the other side as well. Same thing. And you do that for all four canvases. And then to stick them to the canvas, you are going to have to use finishing nails and I put one here, one in the middle and one on the side to keep it tight and um, you can paint these black to cover them up. I did glue this one in but it's uh, already wobbly so I'm going to have to hammer it so make sure you hammer those nails in. Guys, I do apologize for the lack of video coverage in the first half of the video because when I started this project um, and did the prepping and creating the frame, I 
did that before I started this YouTube channel. And then the second half of the project where I do the abstract painting was done just recently. And so there is a lot more footage of me painting. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get back into the second half of this video. So before we started painting, I did create a fall mat on this canvas to make it look like a picture frame. So I'm using my measuring tape and painter's tape to do this. I measured two inches from the frame and put a mark on two sides so I can stick the painter's tape in a straight line. This was my way of creating a straight line without actually drawing a line with a ruler. And I did that on all four sides. Um, and as you can see, the tape is overlapping to create a, a rectangular mat. Once I was done with my first frame, I went ahead and did the same thing on all four frames. This is a necessary step if you want this canvas to look like a picture frame, uh, the one in the inspiration picture. Okay, so to start painting, we're gonna need our paintbrush, our black paint, and I'm using the tricorn black from Lowe's. And do not forget the gloves because your hands are gonna get really messy if you do. And because we prepped our canvases with the joint compound mixture, we are going to be seeing a lot of texture um, while uh, painting this abstract. And the brush strokes are going to be extremely visible as well. Now there is a not a wrong or right way to paint your painting. I'm pretty much just uh, taking a small amount of paint on my paintbrush and uh, kind of creating lines. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, brush strokes and you can already see the, the texture poking through where I am really light with the paint. But yeah, um, really there is not much explaining to do after this point. Um, if you guys want to follow along while painting your own canvases, you may do so while listening to some music. Once you're happy with uh, the painting, you can rip the tape off and then you have a frame. <laughs> On all canvases, I'm creating different abstracts, so it gives my gallery wall some uh, diversity. And uh, yeah, I think uh, you guys got it from here.
Okay guys, now it's time for me to put up my finished art pieces on the wall. I already have the uh, command tape ready to go, so all I did was just uh, stick the pieces onto the tape and uh, voila, I am done. These four pieces look so amazing. I took so many pictures and also posted it on my uh, Instagram. If you guys don't already follow me, follow me at, at lovelymisskt. Uh, but look at the texture that's peeking through. I'm telling you that joint compound is absolutely a key to this uh, transformation. And uh, let's not forget our brush strokes. Um, it absolutely came out really gorgeous and definitely a fraction of the price that you would pay for a big frame canvas like these. If you guys want me to do a separate video where I walk you through creating a frame on a canvas, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to film a video for you guys. All right, guys, I hope this video inspired you to create something similar. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.